Hello, what is up, Ecom Profit Pros? Good morning, good morning to you. It is your girl, Dallas Gordon, EcomCashQueen.com. And I am coming live with you this morning to talk about three steps that you can take today to start your POD business today. So I know a lot of you are looking to monetize during the holidays. So I'm coming before you guys this morning to talk about some ways that you can do just that, all right? So if you are new to this group, I want to give you a big old welcome. If you're watching this and you haven't joined the Ecom Profit Pros group yet, you want to search Ecom Profit Pros on Facebook, okay? And I welcome you to join this free group where we learn all kinds of e-commerce, traffic, sales, and conversion tips, marketing strategies, and all of the above. So if you guys don't know me yet, my name is Dallas Gordon, ecomcashqueen.com. I'm an e-commerce coach and marketing strategist. I'm also a success motivator, author, speaker, mom of three, proud wife, all of those things packaged in one. So good morning, good morning to you guys as you are coming in. Give me a hello, a hashtag hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. Good morning, Santasha. Welcome, welcome in. So today, guys, hey, Kiana, hey, Candice, I can call you Kiana. My Freedom Travers are up in here, okay? So today, guys, I want to talk to you about three steps that you can take today to start your print-on-demand business. So you've stopped by here today because of a few things. You've been wanting to start your print-on-demand business, but you're just not 100% sure on how to get started. You're looking for the right information to help you to get started. So that might be number one. Number two, you've already started your print on demand business. You have your products, okay? But you're feeling a little stuck. Maybe you're not able to get enough traffic and sales to those POD products. So you're feeling like, I want to make money with POD and I've been told that I can but I'm feeling very stuck right now. Or maybe you are selling some, but you're not 100% happy with your progress and you really wanna scale your business, okay? So today we're gonna be talking about three very basic steps to get started this morning with your POD business. So what I want you to do is some, let's, take, let's go over some ground rules for these live streams. I wanna let you know that when I show up live to talk to you, it is definitely a conversation. I'm going to be reading your comments. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop them. If you're loving something that I'm saying, you agree, you get it, be sure to drop me some comments below and interact. Tap up that screen and show me some hearts and feel free to invite friends into this group to get these goodies, okay? So another thing, guys, let me see what today is. Today is the... 13. Good morning, Freedom Triber. They are coming in here. They are showing up this morning. Today is the 13th, and I'm actually doing a giveaway in this group because I crossed um, some followings on some different platforms. And I want to say that I'm grateful to each of you for that because without you, I wouldn't have a following, right? So we're doing some awesome giveaways. I'm giving away a free vacation as well as a um, 30 minute coaching session to whoever wins. So I want you to search inside of this group giveaway. Um, and maybe Clark, you can post the link to the giveaway. Um, let me pin this comment though. Uh, maybe you can post a link to the giveaway so that people can see, you know, how to enter. If you haven't entered, definitely enter because I will be choosing the winner this Wednesday. Um, I believe that that's the 15th. So I'll be choosing the winner this Wednesday. And I think I'll be doing that um, on my fan page. I believe that's where I have it scheduled, or maybe not. But I'll be choosing the winner tomorrow is Wednesday. Y'all can see my days are all over the place, and we will be going from there. Okay. So um, you are looking most likely to monetize. If you are looking to monetize your business without spending little to no money, I want you to put a one in the comments. Okay, even if you're on the replay and you're looking to monetize your business with little to no money at all, I want you to put a one in the comments, okay? 
Because I like to say that if you're not willing to invest anything in your business, it's hard to make money. I feel like you should always have a little something when you go into business and that you can't make something out of nothing. But with print on demand, you can really make this business work for you literally with free tools. Somebody put in the comments, free tools. You can literally make this business work with free tools, okay? The possibilities for this are endless. So if you are on this replay or you're on this live, I see those ones coming in and you're looking to earn money. Um, I'm laughing because my husband is walking over there. I should make you get on camera because you're disturbing me right now. <laughs> but anyway, if you're looking to make money, okay, with no start, you want to make money with print on demand, but you don't have a lot of startup funds, guys, I want you to put a one in those comments. Put a one in those comments because this is a business What's so special about it is that you don't need products, you don't necessarily need startup funds to start, and you can definitely rock and roll with this business. Hey, Lissandra, welcome in, tax lady. Welcome in. Hey, Robin, good morning, good morning. Welcome in, Freedom Triber. Yes, so these are free, okay, tools. You can use free tools, free websites, okay, free traffic. Free ideas that come into your head and you can get paid for this business. So who's ready to get paid today? Okay, if you're ready to get paid today, we are going to get started. So the first tip that I want to share with you, the first question that I want to ask you today is what will you sell? What will you sell? Because that's the first question I want you to ask yourself. You probably heard it said before, and it's very true that the riches are in the niches. And let me tell you why. Maybe no one has ever explained to you why are the riches in the niches. Because a lot of times we use these terms and we use them very lightly in the business world, in the e-commerce world. And sometimes we use them and we don't really know what they mean. Well, the reason why the riches are are in the niches is because if you can niche down, okay, and really know exactly what you're selling and you know what niche it's under. Now, niches are things like knitting, sewing, baking, tennis, golf, um, people who are in love with mermaids, people who are in love with bulldogs, people who are very passionate about something very specific you can sell well to that audience because if you know what your niche is, then it's easier to discover who your client is because there are a lot of people out there who are selling things, just blindly selling things, and they don't know who their audience is. So when I show up every day to speak to you, wherever I'm speaking to you, even when I'm using social media marketing to speak to you. I know exactly who I'm speaking to. So when certain people aren't responding to my marketing, I'm not upset about that. I'm not thrown off by that because I know what my niche is. I know what my area is and I stay in my lane and I know exactly who I'm talking to. So you're able to respond to me by taking out your credit card and paying me for the wealth of knowledge that I have because I know who you are. I've identified who you are. Do you get what I'm saying? I've identified who you are. So it's very important when you're doing the whole niche thing, okay? It's very important to know who you're selling to. That's why we say the riches are in the niches because it's important. Hey, Freedom Tribe, welcome, welcome in. It is so important, and I see that the giveaway link has been placed there, guys. So if you haven't entered the giveaway, it's in the comments. Thanks, Clark, for that, okay? So just remember that the importance of niching down with your print-on-demand business or with any business, okay, is because if you niche down, you can discover your ideal client for the product. A lot of you are not selling your print-on-demand products because you don't know who your client is. You just kind of shooting in the dark. Okay, so it's very, very, very important to know who your ideal client is. So a quick reset if you're coming in. Drop your girl a comment below. Good morning to you. It's Dallas Gordon, ecomcashqueen.com. I am here with you this morning, and we are talking about how to start your POD business today with these three steps. 
I'm not big on teaching people stuff that, you know, isn't going to be relevant and isn't really going to help them to monetize right now. This is a subject. Great morning, Freedom Triber, that a lot of you have personally requested from me to teach. So I am revisiting this one. Good morning, Lila. Welcome in, Bestie. Thanks for coming in. All right, cool. So we've gone over what will you sell. So what will your audience be? And how are you going to determine what your audience will be? Let's just say, okay, I know some of you out there are saying, I have no idea what to pick. I have no idea what niche to pick. Well, you don't want to go with something that you know absolutely nothing at all about. I wouldn't suggest you start there. But one thing that you do want to find is evidence that, this, that there is a passionate community of buyers, okay, that fall under this niche. Right. So you can do that by studying Facebook, by studying other stores that do print on demand. You can use Pinterest as a research tool. Facebook, you can find fan pages. You can click through to stores. There's a lot of more detailed research, OK, that you can go through to find these people. And that's some of what we're going to be going over on the print on demand workshop at the end of the month. OK, so if you haven't grabbed your spot. For that, it's two ways you can do that. Number one, you can join the Profit Freedom Tribe. You get access to pretty much everything for less than a dollar a day. Okay, no brainer there. You can join that today. Okay, if you're interested in getting the direct link to that, just put Freedom Triber in the comments and we will give it to you. Or you can just purchase the course and reserve your spot. If you do it by the 18th, which is, I believe, when is that? It's coming up. I think it's next week now. But if you do it by the 18th, you will save $20 using code POD2018, all caps. So if you're interested in just paying into the course, just put POD and we will give you the link there. Okay. So um, it's important to know and identify what your niche is going to be. That's going to determine what are you going to sell? What type of products are you going to sell? And in my free guide, I have a link to that pin below. I'm telling you all the different products like mugs, T-shirts, tank tops, phone cases, canvas art. It's all kinds of things that you can print on. That part isn't as important. Like what you print on isn't as important. Okay. Um, okay. Thanks, um, Lissandra. It's Sunday. <laughs> Thank you. It's not as important what you print on. Okay, because it's, it, the possibilities are endless as far as what you can print on. I don't want you to focus on things that don't matter. You can print on anything. You can print on anything, okay? What matters is what you're printing and who you're printing for. So who is your audience? Okay, so number one, the takeaway is define your audience. Niche down. Somebody put in the comments if they understand that, niche down down niche down is going to be number one number two is going to be where will you sell now here's one thing that i really do want to put out there because this is for somebody good morning freedom Triber. welcome welcome in um i am a mom of three kids i'm a wife so basically i have a full-time grown family around here as well as myself to maintain in my business and of course all the other things that come with life such as circumstances friends and family so just like you so basically what i'm trying to say is is that i am not any more fortunate than anyone else here okay but I want you to understand that you can't do it all. So I t my job is to show you the vehicles. And I shared this, I think, yesterday inside of the Freedom Tribe. We did a Q&A. My job is to show you all the vehicles. Basically, I'm the saleswoman that is when you go and you pull up in a dealership and you want to buy a Mercedes. I'm the saleswoman. And I'm here to show you all the different types of vehicles, the shapes, sizes and colors that you can get in that can fit you, your lifestyle, your family size. I'm here to show you what they do. I can show you how to drive it, but only you guys, only you, thanks for those comments, guys, can get inside of that vehicle and actually drive the car. Okay? Only you can do that. So you have to decide which one of these businesses work for you. If you try to do it all, and if you try to follow a million coaches and you're trying to do it all, I will promise you that you will fail. So if you're wondering, 
you know, I'm trying to do all of these things and I'm just failing and I don't understand why. Well, there's your answer. You're trying to do all of these things. Hey, Shantae, I am not sharing this information with you to distract you. You have to determine what vehicles you're going to get in to success, which ones are going to be for you. And that's not going to be everything. So I understand some of you have lives and kids and how are you going to fit all of these strategies? You don't need all of these strategies to make it. You just need to pick the ones that will work for you. So I pinpointed towards the beginning. If you're looking for little to no cost strategies to get started, this is one. This is one. You don't need a lot of money. Okay, you really don't even need a whole lot of skills to do this. It's not that hard. Okay. All right. So that's number two is, um, well, I didn't even get to number two, y'all, because I'm rambling off. Now, number two, let's do number two. Number two is where will you sell the products? Where? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to sell the products? Because everybody who desires to do e-commerce is going to need, hey, Aisha, welcome in. You're going to need a platform in order for people to see your product. You're going to need a virtual storefront for people to see your product and then be able to take out their credit card, pay you, you receive the payment, and then everybody can go about their way and be happy. You're going to need a platform like that. And inside of my free guide, which is pinned, I think it's still pinned, y'all, okay? Okay, no problem, Aisha. I believe it's pinned, but um, the guide is going to give you a long list of different places that you can house your print-on-demand um, designs and sell them. I'm actually being detailed about the different things and different ways you can do this. I suggest Gearbubble. There's a link inside of the guide to use that. But you also have Printful and other companies. And different companies are going to give you different perks, different prices, different things that you can print on demand on. So like some companies offer keychains, others don't. So you have different perks and pros and cons to each one. So you can kind of go through that list and see what works for you. The one I use personally is Gearbubble. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best ever out there, okay? Because there are other ones. So you can test them out for yourself, and I'm giving you the information to be able to do that today, okay? So where will you sell? Basically, Gearbubble will give you, they have paid plans, but they will give you a free storefront okay, to sell your products on. And you can actually upload your designs onto shirts, mugs, whatever you want to do right on Gearbubble, and they will give you a storefront to sell these products on for you, okay? So that's the power of having a platform. And you will see that a lot of these platforms I have on the list are giving you free virtual space to put your designs up and to sell them for completely free for completely free, all right? So where will you sell? Where will you sell is number two. Number three, how will you create designs? Now, it depends on you, the person you are, the schedule you have, and the money you have will depend on how you're gonna answer that question. So me, I'm gonna hire somebody to create my designs. I'm not gonna have time to do that myself. I wish I could share my screen and I could show you some examples, but I can't hear on this live video here, but I will do that on the print on demand workshop, guys. So if you haven't grabbed your spot, I'll talk to you about the two ways that you can join that workshop. Number one, just type in POD. We will give you the link in the coupon code to save 20 off of your spot. Or number two, you can join the Freedom Tribe for less than a dollar a day to get free access to all this kind of stuff on a monthly basis. Those are the two ways. You can put tri Freedom Tribe in there or POD, and we will give you a link so that you can join. Most of y'all are already in there, though. <laughs> so, But for those who are coming in and who are new, this is a workshop you don't want to miss, okay? And a lot of you have been asking me, asking me, asking me. I'm stuck with my print-on-demand designs. I'm missing a piece. Um, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? I haven't taught print on design in about a year now. I taught it about a year ago. Okay, so I am listening to you, and this is what we're going to prioritize and do. We're going to get this thing done at the end of the month. Okay? All right. So number three, I'm going to go over it again. How will you do these designs? 
Will you hire someone? Hey, Ariel, great morning to you. I'm going to be providing you guys with some designers on the workshop. Okay, I'm going to put together a little guide for you for the workshop on the 28th where you can use some of my t-shirt designers if you would like to. I'm also going to provide you with some apps that you can use as well, okay, to do it yourself. So I, once again, as a mom, I have a 16-year-old. He just turned 16. I put him to work. Sometimes moms, we have to outsource. Our kids can do stuff. They can help. And sometimes the job may not always be done exactly like you want, but it will be finished. And it will be good enough for you to be productive. So I want to say that again to the moms out there. Oh, thanks, Mandy. Love, welcome in. I needed to hear that today. I'm <laughs> but thank you. Um, to the moms out there, sometimes a job done is better than a perfect job. And I have had to learn it because I am a big time perfectionist and part time control freak, part time, y'all, because I've kind of retired half of that part of myself, right? But your family is eager to help you, especially the little kids. They're eager to do stuff. What can you have them to do so that you can run your business? I think that we feel like because the title mom is on our shoulders that we literally have to do it all from start to finish. Like we have to do it because we're mom. And that's not true. I don't know why I'm branching off into this, but I'm going to share, right? There are things your husband can do. Or if you don't have a husband, what about the grandparents? Maybe there's a friend or maybe your kids who are sitting down playing video games and doing other stuff. They could be cleaning up. They could be folding clothes. Okay, we're teaching our three-year-old and our five-year-old how to fold clothes. No, the job isn't perfect, but done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. My son does a lot of my print-on-demand designs. I pay him a few dollars. He's happy with that. He sits on gear bubble. He does the designs. He goes into Canva. He makes it saves mom time. My son could literally spit out 50 designs in one evening. I don't have time for that. He does that. I don't mind paying him. I'm employing my family. Right? My mom is, is one of my, my personal assistant here. Sometimes it's a little rough, but yes. I pay her to do it. Okay, so I want you to start reaching out and delegating some things to your family. They're on your team. When you earn this income, when you create this life of freedom, ladies, guess who's going to be the benefit? Who's going to feel the benefit of that? Your family, right? So operate as a unit and have no shame in that, okay? So if you have some chump change, you can hire somebody on Fiverr. In the training, I will give you those designs that I use. And it's literally a matter of sending them a design that you already like and saying, hey, can you change this up for me um, and make it my own? And they'll do that for you, okay, real quick. So that's a real good way to get your print on de demand items done very quickly. Um, or like I said, if you are on a budget and you are looking to do it yourself, I will be showing you how to do it yourself on the print on demand workshop. And we're going to have fun. We're going to use like an ugly sweater theme. I just want to show you just how easy it can be to do some of this stuff. Okay, I want to show you just how easy it can be to just throw something together real quick. It doesn't need to be perfect. People don't need perfect. They just, you know, like what they like. Right? And that's it. All right, so here's one tip I want to leave with you guys. I want to keep you too long because I'll be back multiple times this week with different platforms, okay? Tomorrow I'll be live on Instagram sharing more. So if you want to catch those at 10 a.m. tomorrow, catch me live on Instagram.com at Ecom Cash Queen, okay? But one tip I want to give you is don't reinvent the wheel. You guys hear me saying this a lot. Data will save your life. Somebody put that in the comments. I'm going to need you to catch your life with the data. This is really a golden nugget. This is the biggest golden nugget of the whole training. 
and I really need you to pay attention, okay? Because I've been in business for a good minute, and a lot of my business, I have felt like I should be more productive than this. I should be further than this. Why am I not? Thanks, Robin. Why am I not further than this? Well, one of the main reasons that I haven't been further than this is because I refuse to sit down for five minutes and study what other people are doing. What other people are doing and what other people are successful at is good news for you. Now, I'm not talking about be a, car, a copy, okay, a cheap copy. I'm not talking about being a cheap copy. I'm not talking about looking at everybody's work and what they do, and you're just another cheap copy of what they do because it's a lot of people out there who just copy, copy, copy everybody's stuff. I mean, verbatim, <laughs> verbatim. Like the what makes your business grow and what makes people love you, what creates raving fans is because you are uniquely you. You don't have to take someone else's work and literally copy it verbatim. But you can definitely get inspiration. You can definitely get ideas from others, other people's work. The good news is, is that somebody out there has done it before you. Great morning, Freedom Tribe, or welcome in. Somebody out there has done this before you. There are so many businesses out there in your specific niche who already have success. Why is that good news for you? Because you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can look and study what they're doing, what designs their fans are raving about, what their designs are buying most, what they're doing crazy, what they're doing crazy. And I'm gonna be teaching you on the workshop exactly how to spy on other stores so that you can see what's selling great. You don't have to guess. I'm gonna teach you how to get the data. I'm gonna teach you how to extract that data for your own business. Not to copy them verbatim, but to get inspiration, to get ideas so that you don't have to sit up here and rack your brain trying to reinvent the wheel. Trying to reinvent the wheel, okay guys? So that's your tip, your takeaway is to study. Your, the data will save your life, the data will save your business guys so once again it's your girl dallas gordon coach d okay i've come to you live this morning in the econ profit pros group with three steps to start your pod print on demand business today if you don't know what print on demand is you want more information you want these steps in writing download your guy below the pod swipe file it is below, click the link and get your guide. Okay, um, once again, the POD Ugly Sweater Workshop, it's coming up. We are It's going down on the 28th, okay? We're gonna be talking about how to do the designs, how to do them from scratch, where to go to hire people. I'm gonna sit there and teach you until my throat goes dry so that you can understand in one evening, in one night, and you guys know I'm quick. I don't like to spend too much time, but you're gonna have everything you need to succeed in your print-on-demand biz business within awesome Freedom Triber within this workshop. So make sure that you grab your seat. If you are already a Freedom Triber, you already have access to the workshop, all you have to do is join the group. Information for that is inside of the Freedom Triber hub in the events. It'll tell you exactly where to click and join the group. Okay, so if you come in live and you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. I wanna see your face at the workshop or in the Freedom Tribe. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this training and you got some great takeaways from this training. If you are, well, hello, Dea. <laughs> hello, Dea. Thanks, love, welcome in. So you guys can take it back to the beginning. If you're just coming in and you wanna get these print-on-demand tips, we talked about a lot of other stuff too, okay? And drop me some comments below as you follow along. So you all be blessed, rock stars. You all be prosperous. I want to know where is your money today? I want to know where are your clients today? I want to know where are your sales today? These are some questions that you should be asking. You should be commanding your morning and putting a demand on those traffic, those sales, those conversions today. So go into your day with authority, make 
the magic happen. Your pocketbook will thank you and your family will too. So you guys have a blessed day. Love you guys. And I will see you guys around this week. You're so welcome. Talk to you guys later. Bye.